you tonight, I want to tell you about a moment I had on a train. So I am sitting on a train that is between stations in Paris, and it's coming to a stop, and I'm a little bit worried because it shouldn't be stopping here. And I don't really know why, because I don't really speak French. Uh, and there are a number of announcements, and all the passengers around me, as it slows to a stop, start to groan and fumble around with their belongings. And I'm a little bit more antsy because I have a very limited amount of time to get to the train station. I'm staying in Italy, but I've got a week to go from Paris to Amsterdam to Dublin, back to Italy. It's very important that each stop is a place that I make it to, because if I don't, I've been traveling long enough, I'm pretty much broke, I don't know how I get back. So I'm a little worried on this train, stopping at the wrong place with everyone getting off, and I don't know why. It's worth noting that this is in December 2015. I got a ticket to Paris from Bologna, Italy for a steal. And it had a lot to do with something that was a little bit mischievous on my part. As you might remember, in mid-November of that same year, the Paris attacks happened. And I noticed that when I was booking travel, it was not so expensive to go to Paris at the time. And so I think, as some kind of universal karma, I had this moment on this train where suddenly I didn't know how the hell I was going to get back to my luggage, to my bags back in Italy, where I needed to go back to the United States from. So as I'm shuffling off the train now, too, because the announcements are still going on and most of the people are already off the train, I'm thinking to myself, what do I do? I must find out what is even going on. And so I, I talk to some of the Parisians, and true to Parisian style, they're not really having this American asking them questions. They're busy. They've got something to do. And so I did what any Floridian aware of tourists in a desperate moment would do. I became one. And I just stood still and waited for the authorities to come along. And sure enough, before too long, someone came along I was, come on, in French, I, I couldn't honestly replicate what they said to me. I said, I don't know where to go. What's going on? I, I kind of knew where to go, but I needed them to tell me what was going on. I, I really needed help. We're 20 minutes from missing a ticket, no refund, no way to pay for another one. Right? This is it. I'm stuck in Paris, and I kind of needed them to know who they'd be dealing with if I was stuck there. So I played the fool. So they tell me. There has been a suspicious package. We can't run this line or any of the other train lines from this station. You have to take a tram. Now, I'm a planner. I had 30 hours in Paris. I knew I couldn't do everything, but I had a plan. And up to this point, it was working. Or if it didn't work, I had a contingency. And so it was still working. I did not have a tram-related contingency. I was counting on the backup plan. I had three train lines I could take. It was fine. I had enough time if I could switch trains, but now I can't. And they don't know what tram I should take. So I have to sprint around asking strangers who hopefully speak enough English, who hopefully will tell me the correct information, because a mistake could cost me any ability to make it back that I know how to conceive of. So I finally find out from someone what probably should be the right way to go. It's a blue tram, and I think it's the right direction, and I get on. Turns out it was the right direction. I'm, I'm here, after all. And I get off the tram at the station, and it's across this giant complex of trains. It's, and, and connecting trains to airports and different train companies, and I need to make sure I get to the right one. I need to be five minutes early, and I have eight total minutes. Now, I like to pack with one bag because I like to save as much money as possible when traveling, and it's a pretty heavy bag. I didn't really pack light, just one bag, and so I'm sprinting with this giant bag, and I am terrified that 
I'm either not going to make it on time, or I'm going to be going the right pace to make it on time, and I'll be the crazy American tourist who caused the bag confusion. And so finally, I, I'm sprinting, I get there, and the guards who are just like closing up the train door that I need to get on, I'm like, oh my god, I got the papers, it's a thing, the bag, it's not mine, it's like, like, this train, I have to get on it to get home. And I'm like, whoa, man, don't worry, Dude, you made it, it's fine, you got like a minute or something, probably. But I made it. What a rush. <laughs>